Good morning. You might hear my grandson playing in the background. Before we jump into the bad news, we're going to share the good news. Ephesians 1 verse 7 says, In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. Sorry. <clears throat> when you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, your sins are washed clean. All of your sins. That does not mean, oh, we go out and do whatever we want. No, we don't want to. We have repented. Repenting is a change of mind. We live for Christ. We don't put our faith and trust in these world leaders. Because you know what? The great, and I'm sorry, my breathing isn't good this morning. I'm going to have to pause a lot. The great are, you'll own nothing and love it. They are getting everybody financially destitute. And they're going to say, oh, guess what? We got an answer. Just take this mark and you're on your forehead. The world is getting conditioned for the Antichrist. We won't, well, who, who is already here? We will not be here to see who the Antichrist is. We could be raptured any time now. Sorry, what's that? Oh, gosh. Ready for our new glorified bodies, because this one's falling apart. <laughs> I'm ready to see Jesus. I just, I, I'm so ready for the rapture. Hang in there. I know life's tough. But we have so much to look forward to. These are exciting times for the church. Not exciting for the world. These world leaders have an agenda. And, you know, if they want the great R, and if you ever see conspiracy theory labeled on my video, I didn't put that there. <laughs> um, in order for them to do that, all the countries have to be in agreement. The world's a stage. Hey. Now. Sorry, that's my daughter's, daughter's dogs. The world's a stage. Don't put your faith and trust in any of these world leaders. Could everything that's happening... Could they all be in agreement to do all of this to sink the world's economy? Because as they stand there saying, vote for me, vote for me, when the bombs drop and they're going to, come here, baby. When the bombs drop, come eat your breakfast, okay? <clears throat> and they're going to, they're going to save themselves. We're not going into the playroom until you eat your breakfast. <clears throat> At least eat some of it, okay? <clears throat> T-Rex is eat their breakfast. No playroom till we eat some of our breakfast. I'm trying to get him to eat his breakfast. He says he's in the stage where um, he says uh, that he wants like eggs and, and blackberries and then and sausage and then he doesn't eat. Put your faith and trust in Jesus. Jesus, I am a sinner in need of a savior. I believe that you are the son of God who came down from heaven. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Born of a virgin. He's playing dinosaur, I'm sorry. He lived a sin free life. You lived a sin free life. You took on my sin in the cross. You were crucified. But on the third day, the tomb was empty. I believe you are alive and you're seated at the right hand of the Father. Wash me clean with your precious blood. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. God sees everybody's heart. God sees who truly want to live for Christ. Whatever you're going through, I assure you, you're not going to be going through it much longer. I know it's a bummer that we're still here, but God's time makes perfect. It, he's playing. That growling you hear is my grandson playing dinosaur. He's a T-Rex. <laughs> it's been kind of quiet lately. Most of the news I'm finding is coming out from War News 247. Um, you do have to translate it. Zelensky, Tusk deal. Poland to shoot down Russian missiles and drones over western Ukraine. What does the agreement sign between Zelensky and Tusk provide? One sec, I'm sorry. Oh, it's going to be a nebulizer day for sure, I can tell already. <clears throat> Today I'm going to get blood work done. I was supposed to get it done already and I completely forgot. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky...
and Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk signed a bilateral security agreement between Ukraine and Poland in Warsaw. This agreement provides that Poland will shoot down Russian missiles and drones launched by Russia over Ukrainian territory. That is, Poland is building an anti-aircraft shield over Western Ukraine as predicted by Warner's 247. This provision of the agreement is something unprecedented, especially for a NATO member state. Oh, sorry, I just hit an ad. Now I gotta translate it again. Okay, where did I leave off? <clears throat> and Moscow's reaction is expected to be fierce. Also, the bilateral security agreement provides that the new volunteer military unit, Ukrainian Legion, will be trained on Polish soil and supplied with equipment from Kiev's Western allies. Finally, Zelensky's announcement states that Ukraine and Poland will cooperate on fighter jets. And in Warsaw, has, a, has already agreed to deliver to Kiev, but also in the possibility of delivering even more in the future. So I'm going to be pausing a lot. Huh. I'm trying to breathe. Can't breathe good today. <clears throat> I mean, I'm breathing, but I just can't take a deep breath in. It's like tight. I can see right now, oh, you're breathing, and you tell you're not breathing. That's no. Uh, things. Okay, anyway. It is recalled that missiles, Russian and Ukrainian, have fallen on Polish territory during the war. In fact, the fall of a Ukrainian S-300 anti-aircraft missile had caused the death of two people in the village of uh, Sivodov. S-E-V-O-D-O-V, -E <clears throat> on the Polish-Ukrainian border. Last March, a Russian missile, missile violated Polish airspace for 39 seconds, it was reported at the time. And then they got a tweet, X, whatever it is now. Today in Warsaw, Poland's Prime Minister, Donald Tusk and I, signed the agreement on security cooperation between Ukraine and the Republic of Poland. The unprecedented document includes a provision for shooting down Russian missiles and drones in Ukraine's airspace that are fired. There, this, this is a short article. Um, <clears throat> I believe when the rapture happens, all of the wars are going to be combined into one big war. Bombs will fall. Christians are going to vanish. Happen any time. I know it's a bummer that we're still here, but... There could be a family member or friend that still needs to be saved. Um, I want to go home too. I just, in fact, right before this video, I was going home. Heavenly Father, please send Jesus back for us. We're all ready to go home. We got so much to look forward to. These are exciting times. And I promise you, whatever you're going through, the Holy Spirit will get you through. You know, you get those few people that say, oh, your videos are all doom and gloom. It's not doom and gloom. Because I know there's a lot of people out there that are really struggling. You know? And I know life's tough. But when you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, there's a balls on your back from Satan. But he has no power, no authority whatsoever over us. And the Holy Spirit will get us through. Whatever you're going through, I assure you Jesus will get you through. Wear it as a badge of honor. It means you're a threat to Satan. Keep looking up, family. And I cannot wait to meet you at the marriage supper. I love you guys. God bless you. And I will talk to you soon.